On December 1, 2016, Gambians will vote for a president for the fifth time since the current leader, Yaya Jame, came to power in the 1994 coup. President Jame and the Gambian security forces have yet enforced disappearances, torture, intimidation, and arbitrary arrest to suppress dissent and preserve Jame's grip on power over the past 22 years. The government has repeated its repressive tactics in advance of this year's election. Let me warn you, those evil vermin called opposition, if you want to destabilize this country, I will bury you nine feet deep and no rest of that judge say anything. Since April, Jame's government has arrested more than 90 opposition activists for peacefully protesting against the government. 30 opposition members have been sentenced to three-year jail terms. Solo Sandeg, a prominent opposition leader, was arrested during a peaceful protest in favor of electoral reform. He was taken to the headquarters of Gambia's National Intelligence Agency and he was beaten to death. My father was walking, was, was demanding for change, for electoral reform, so the opposition could also win in the coming elections, that's come December, but then, unfortunately, he was, he was, he was stopped because they don't want that change. His daughter, Fatumata, and his son, Mohammed, had to flee the country along with the rest of the family. It's not a new thing in Gambia that people get killed by the government and they don't even admit that they have killed anyone and they deny people from grieving, from, uh, from sympathizing with the family of the deceased and that's what the government of the Gambia does and that shows only the brutality that, that, that exists in the current government. The climate of fear is uh, very pervasive. Um, of all the countries that I visited as a special rapporteur, this is the one where you could actually feel that uh, if you ask cer certain questions from some people, you really put them in trouble. The government has maintained tight control of the Gambian media. Many independent journalists, fearful of arbitrary detention or torture, self-censor their reporting to avoid government reprisals. Gambia has only one television station. And this television station is purposely propaganda for the state. Opposition have no access to this state television and radio. It seriously undermines a free and fair election. Media play a crucial role in terms of empowering, educating, and entertaining the masses. And this is something that is lacking. Ahead of December's election, the Gambian government will release peaceful protesters, initiate an investigation into opposition deaths in custody, and grant opposition parties equal access to the media. If Gambia's human rights record does not improve, the international community, particularly the EU, and the U.S. should impose targeted sanctions on Gambian officials responsible for human rights abuses.